You test, test, test. Hey, this is Jake Jacobs, and I'm coming at you with a review of Key Suite from UVI. Now, this library has been very impressive to me, especially this Australian grant. Now, let me go through an overview of this. This is going to be your museum in a box. It's going to have um, a good amount of sounds, um, hundreds, I believe it is. Uh, let's talk about Key Suite. Uh, acoustic. <laughs> so when I double click here, this is the interface of it. And if you can see in the sound banks, it's typical UVI. You have Key Suite Acoustic, Key Suite Digital, and Key Suite Electric. Now, this Key Suite Acoustic and what it's going to do, it, it was already loaded up, but it's going to, well, there it is. It does, didn't have to load it up again. Um, is this has been, I'm trying to move the sustain pedal has been very, very get some more volume. A lot of character in that. So this library, then what I like to do to bring a library through its paces is I like to do what I call a sharp five test. And <laughs> um, when I'm playing in, in church, um, I'm in D flat right now, I like to do this, this chord and just hold on the sustain pedal. Now, when I do this, the voices start to pile up and if your voice, if your Voices, if your library is going to choke, it's going to choke while you're doing that. <laughs> so what you're hearing now is the Australian Grand. A lot of character in there. And what did I have to do to get this piano to my liking? I pulled back the pedal noise because the default is there. And, you know, I'm not, I mean, I like the realism that that adds. And then I pulled back some of the release samples. As you can hear that thud. So that's the only tweaking that I basically had to do with it. And I basically got a piano. Very good, very intelligent with the handling of voices, and you, you can hear. So let me talk to you about a, a lot of these settings. A lot of gospel cats that I know love the ability to tweak their ADSR, um, the attack, delay, sustain, release. And with the amplitude envelope, me, I choose not to mess with that so much but a lot of times cats like to uh, mess with the release simply because it makes their run sound cleaner <laughs> me i'm looking for realism and that's where this australian grin really shines through um now i did ask a second opinion on that and, and the second opinion i asked is from my older brother, who this happens to be his YouTube channel. Um, yeah, give him a subscribe, give him a like. He uh, he does this for a living. Me, I have a regular job. Um, so, uh, makes beats, produces music. Um, he's a bit more expensive than I am because his resume is more, it looks, his resume looks way better than mine. <laughs> so, uh, and his opinion was, so that there, there was my public service announcement. His opinion was um, he liked the cinematic um, of the Australian Grand. I'm assuming it's for, of the Australian Grand. So when I do cinematic, the cinematic mic position or how, whatever they did. 
that's very very cinematic very movie like That'll, that'll take you there. Like you're looking into somebody's eyes and it's daffodils and whatever. And yeah, and then you're about to kiss and you, you burp. And you just ruin the mood. But yeah, that's, anyway. Cinematic, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, I was uh, very impressed with uh, very impressed with that. Um, let's talk about some other sounds that it has. UVI. Now let's let's go into uh, actually. Let's see. Let's click into here. Now I have the different uh, instances of this loaded into main stage, so you'll have to pardon that. But. Uh, Here's a good uh, now. Now, mind you, this is typical UVI. We have Key Suite Digital, Key Suite Electric, and Key Suite Acoustic. So this is the digital. Uh, I imagine this is uh, a emulation of Roland's uh, 330. Um. <laughs> So if you're looking for that sound, that 80 sound, um, Korg SG, uh, I imagine that's from Korg. I, I, I don't know. Maybe they don't have the licensing to use the actual. I remember that SG keyboard. Uh, Different pianos make me feel different ways, make me play different things. Um, let's look at the 20, because I know this is an MKS 20 emulation. Now, for all you gospel cats out there, piano one basic, we're not even going to add any course to this. So let's bring some volume up into that. If I needed an MKS-20, this is going to uh, give a run uh, of other manufacturers, MKS. Uh, it's going to give them a run run for their money. It's it's pretty pretty good. Um, let's go. Let's quit out of here. I mean, if I were to go through a lot of the sounds that this has, it would be uh, go through. This review would be ours. So let's. I. Uh, what did I do here? This is a clavinet sound. And I have it. I have it uh, uh, expression pedaled into the wah effect. So. <laughs> Just a lot of fun. Now, I may want to tweak this a little bit. Probably tweak where I have the, uh, the wah actually affects. It's more on top. And if I did it more on the bottom, which is good because this is uh, very tweakable. Let's talk about the uprights because that's been something that's impressed me. 
the character <laughs> of these uh oh well no that's uh 73 that's not an upright so i must have been playing around and forgot what i did So, Mark 273, ladies and gentlemen, that's not an upright. So, let's go in here. Uprights is in key suite acoustic. And then we're going to go to German uh, German upright. So, uh, yeah, let's give it a little bit of volume. something I really enjoyed playing. Um, check this out. Let's do Honky Tonk Upright. Now, didn't this sound like... Wow, oh, that's a lot of volume. I gotta pull back on that. much age in that so much wow um now that's from acoustic um check out this harpsichord and the, the only way i could describe it wow that's like A thud in that, and again, like the uh, maybe I want to wow, maybe I want to do a side mic. Stupid realistic. That's if I needed a harpsichord for anything. Wow, what, what, I mean, like, what is this? Here's a clavichord. What, what is, what is? <laughs> wow, I didn't even know there was such thing as a clavichord. Just... A whole bunch of things to, to look at, a whole bunch of things to play with, to, to try out. Uh, let's, let's mess with the spinet. What's a spinet? Just a thud. I just got smacked in the head by spinet character capture. Just very, very, very amazing. Now let's let's uh, go. Let's go to the EPs because you know that's where I probably wanted to go. This whole review, anyway. <laughs> so what we have here is the Mark III that I was playing before. Beautiful. don't want that many that much chorus you can mix it out a little bit mm -hmm. 
And the phone rings, but it's not gonna. There we go. They can call back. <laughs> so yeah, don't don't don't. No phone call is gonna ruin this review. <laughs> so anyway, there we go. Again, very nicely, uh, very nicely implemented. Um, this will be your museum in a box. I had to do some tweaking to my machine to get it to run right, but they're constantly um, re uh, releasing updates, and this is going to be uh, this is going to give you more sounds than you know you're probably ever going to use, or you might use them all if you're a producer. But you've got your keyboard sounds covered. Thank you guys very much.